Gates rolling. Bonnie Lake right now, the slightest of favorites over Worldly Beauty. Forrest Skipper defeated Falcon Sealster. Probe and Park Avenue Joe in a dead heat in that dramatic Hamiltonian race off. And for the third time in Meadowlands history, a match race between two horses. The gate is picking up speed, and the killer bees, Bunny Lake and Worldly Beauty, about ready to go in. And they're off, and they pace out of there together, and Bunny Lake and John Stark Jr. have no intention of giving up that inside advantage, and they'll take the lead onto the opening turn as Luke Willette backs off early with Worldly Beauty and drops her neatly in behind Bunny Lake as they pace toward the quarter, and as soon as Worldly Beauty talks, Stark grabs into Bunny Lake a little bit, looking to back down the pace, and Bunny Lake is traveling comfortably on the lead right now, and Worldly Beauty is also sitting pretty comfortably in the pocket there in second, the opening quarter in 27. Seven and two as the two mares head on to the back stretch. Their sires, Precious Bunny and Arts Place, were rivals, and these two are set up for a great rivalry this season. Worldly Beauty, of course, now four, her first time against older mares, and Bunny Lake now at age five, one of the most prolific mares in the sport. No change in position and no pace here as John Stark is able to back into Worldly Beauty. Bunny Lake is comfortably in front and it will turn into a sprint home. And Worldly Beauty looks pretty relaxed there, sitting in second right on the helmet of John Stark Jr. And the half was in 58 and two, a 31 second second quarter. So Bunny Lake is waiting for Worldly Beauty to commit to the outside and the pace is still very soft as they head around the far turn. Bunny Lake controlling the front end here, and Stark is doing everything that he's wanted to do so far, being able to back down the pace, and Worldly Beauty is now showing the whip right on the helmet there of Bunny Lake, and Luke is waiting as long as possible as the pair pace to the three-quarter marker, and Bunny Lake hits that station 128 and two, a 30-second third quarter, and now the sprint begins, and Bunny Lake has the lead. Worldly Beauty is tipped to the outside, though, and they are rolling with an eighth of a mile to come. Bonnie Lake is digging in gamely. Worldly Beauty trying to get to her on the outside. Bonnie Lake hanging in there. Worldly Beauty still a length away, still trying on the outside. Bonnie Lake is almost there, and at the line, it is Bonnie Lake holding on from Worldly Beauty. It looked like perhaps ahead in 154 and two-fifths.